Craig sounds like Steve Bloom almost. Hmm. <laughs> it might be sample a sample of somebody's voice. Could be Steve Bloom. We don't know. I mean, if you go on his IMDb, he's got like over 600 credits. I met him once at a, uh, a convention. This was right after I, you know, was uh, in the middle of recording Last Kids on Earth. And I, mm -hmm. I just told him that like how much of an inspiration he was to me in oh. terms of becoming a voice actor. And he said in his like, you know, voice, which pretty much just sounds like Spike Spiegel in real life. He's like, well, you made it, man. You're one of us. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, that was that was a pretty gratifying a gratifying moment. Shot my ego up a bit. That luckily it went down right after that. Thank God. <laughs> oh, but you guys ready to record? Since I feel like this would be this would be a good story for the podcast. Oh yeah, shit! I thought definitely. we were already recording. I can edit that no, back yeah. into the main chat. So whatevs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that's no problem. Sure. Whatever <laughs> you feel like. Pan, I can like he edits. No. Oh, yeah. sure. I know. Oh no! Don't worry. I know all about that. I I always hear. Izzy's like, Pan, edit that out. And then Pan's like, ah, okay, and then nothing. Oh, so you do actually watch the podcast. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. No, me and my brother Finn have been watching it for years. <laughs> oh, Wait, really? Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, <laughs> did he not tell this... you? Pan not tell you that? No, no, okay, okay, no. Right. okay, let's okay, talk about what Pan oh, tells oh. us, okay? Yeah, we, 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 yeah. <laughs> he told us this was going to be an hour earlier than it actually was. He told us that you were the creator of the show. What else? The <laughs> creator? What? <laughs> oh, look, I didn't read your thing. I, 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 I kind of skimmed it, you know? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, congratulations on being a showrunner. It's a lot of hard work, but <laughs> yeah. you made it, man. You made it. I, I was 21 years old already going strong on the wow. show Damn. business. I was yeah. sleep deprived. I'm sorry. Okay. I did, I did sleep say deprived. I did say, okay, so Pam, I said the exact opposite of what you thought. I, was <laughs> I said seven, and I said I was the lead in the show as the voice actor in I, the message. All right, you know what? It's fine. No, it's okay. Look, I, I think I read that as like the lead <laughs> director or whatever. I'm not sure. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it doesn't matter. As long as we're all on the same page now. Yeah. There is a page, and we're all on it. Yeah. Like we're all on it now, I hope, I think. We'll see. It's covered in urine, but we're all on it. Uh-oh. Who yeah. did that? The podcast. Great. Yeah, he's doing great the, so the, far. The page is so, like, crumpled and gross, but we're on the same page at this point, so we might as well just go with it. Crumpled stilt skin. Okay, I found I found the Twitter thing, and you said you said I'm the lead on a cartoon called I don't know. Oh I, like, I, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should have been more specific about that. Sorry. Maybe maybe uh, maybe Pan should be better and just ask a fucking question. It's <laughs> too fast. I just assumed he was the I creator. I just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> The creator is uh, Max Brailler. Well, he's the creator of the book series. That yeah. lives in, he, lives, he lives in New York, so. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, but let's let's start this. I'll I'll let all this conversation in some way. But okay. just, this is the cold open. We're done. Yeah. Now, this is where you put the uh, title, or you can say the title until very 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 end, like most modern movies today. Now, after this, the Frasier's theme song plays, and it's the cold open. It's the Rebel Taxi Pizza Party Podcast. I'm Pan Pizza from YouTube.com. Who are who's everyone else? I'm Nick Wolfhard, and I'm a voice actor. Nice to meet you. Uh, yes, I'm nice a recovering. Nice to meet you too. I'm I'm a recovering bad voice actor now. Kind of good voice actor. Welcome. Hi, Nick. Who who no, are I'm you, a... Nick? Who is this, Nick? My name is okay. So well, you already know my name. Uh, I'm the lead on a cartoon called last kids on earth i played jack sullivan uh i've also been in stuff like my little pony i've done oh, uh, yeah. beyblade burst uh and uh, i've done a couple of couple of indie the uh, chicken is here oh my god sorry my quincy shut up i'm trying to do what? a podcast <laughs> sorry you remember okay so Who's remember when quincy? i was talking about the food earlier about like how that guy was like hey man i got your chicken man but it's like they're being really insensitive Yo, about it he was weird though. he was weird <laughs> okay so what did he look like like long haired kind of hippie vibe but like okay so exactly what i was picturing in my head then he like wouldn't stop talking, and I was kind of just like, hey, "I just want my chicken, man." Like, okay, gotcha. Anyway, also three sauces. Okay, dude. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> what the fuck is this podcast? I don't know. It's, anyway, it's, it's I've great. A, anyway, I've done, I've done a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm going to be in a, a, a uh, an animated pilot uh, that my couple of my friends are doing. That's going to be on a, a major uh, network. It's not for oh. kids this series, and I hmm. hopefully should be able to talk about more of it soon. But um, Pan, I think you'll enjoy it because I think you probably know a couple people um on the show who are making it so well yeah. now i'm curious what this is yeah what is this show why am i chewing on chicken why did i just do that okay yeah are you hungry a little so then you, what should, is you, should, chew on, you should chew <laughs> yeah, on chicken if you're hungry chew on the chicken who gives a shit this, yeah, podcast, yeah. this podcast sucks we're not gonna we're not gonna chicken shame you so don't worry okay thank you friend. Yeah. this yeah this is some real chicken shit going on right here <laughs> It's um, the Pizza Party Podcast mukbang. Hell what? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Awful. I did a mukbang. Yes. Uh oh. Yeah. I've done one. How'd that go? Uh, it was. I mean, I it was painful afterwards. It was cool <laughs> going down. Oh uh, no. Yeah, I, I ordered like. Oh man, what did I order? So I was streaming Splatoon two, and chat was asking for a mukbang, and my friend, who was also my mod. Um, said it was a good idea, so I ordered like a whole bunch of McDonald's, and I I made uh, a certain sandwich that I can't McRib. mention on stream because uh, it's not number one, it's not official, and number two, there's a chance I also want to get hired by McDonald's. Damn. <laughs> do you want to end up? In... Wait, do you want to meet? Let's just say it's a McChicken and a Mc uh, and a double cheeseburger uh, put together. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know what you're insinuating, but do you want to work on their like? Are they making another classy Chupo uh, McDonald's cartoon? Oh, I love that. Did they do that? Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember good. that. Yes, I was obsessed I with those. I mean, I don't remember it, but I remember it. I've seen it. I've seen it before. I'm, it's before my time, probably. Those were terrible. That's when classy Chupo still had, you know, work. Oh work. yeah. So speaking it's of tragic. that, for years. So, like, for three years, I've been wondering, what happened to those guys? Does the, their building apparently still exists, and they yeah, still have, I, like, their characters on it in, in L.A. They're yeah, still around. I, I, I've driven past that place, and, yeah, it's it's just decrepit, but they're still alive. It's just uh, Arlene Klasky that's working there and a few others, but no oh, Garbo. They actually had a pretty bad divorce and all that yeah. stuff, because oh, no. I worked on the, was it, the Sabre video about that, and it was like kind of sad how it all fell apart. It's basically cause like their, their whole relationship fell apart because she was like, so un uh, I don't know. So hard to work with when they're making the beginning of Rugrats that like, literally like he was like, yo, I can't be married to you anymore. Oh like, God, that's awful. it was like, it was like such a whole, cause I thought it was like, Oh, they probably just like grew apart. And then I like researched it and I was like, Oh man, like there was like, the production of Rugrats sounds like it sucked. Like it was, yeah. it was like the worst show to work on. Apparently. Have you seen some of those storyboards? <laughs> you know the ones I'm oh, talking about. Oh, like, of really, course. Yeah, the storyboard the really, jam. The of really, course. Yeah, the really raunchy ones that they yes. that they made mm. under the table. Um, but yeah, what I was gonna say was people. The only like lead I've gotten on what happened to Classy Kasupo in terms of their building is someone told me that they live near their building. Their lights are always on, but no one ever comes in and no one ever comes out. It's like <laughs> it almost sounds like a haunted house. Whoa! Uh, Damn. I bet the <laughs> Got... real monsters are like hiding in there, like you know, haunting the place. <laughs> oh, people want. Yeah, they're making the Rugrats reboot movie. <laughs> the live action one, and it's oh, gonna be mo capped. Well, it's like the kids are CG, but the parents are real. Something like yeah, that. That right? always looks good. That that sounds like yeah. Horrific. Um, That's gonna man, be you, great. Speaking of Rugrats, you sent me a mashed potato Rugrats sculpture here <laughs> that I'm looking at right now. It's an SCP. <laughs> yeah, those you know, it's out there. Wait, what's yes. an SCP? I'm sorry. The I'm truth is my... out there. It's secure, contain, protect. It's a, a foundation. That's oh yeah. yeah your mom has done like, like three jokes on that. Wow. Hmm. Someone, someone uh needs to research their work a bit more. I see. Hey, you know what? I don't like your tone. I don't like my tone either, like, ever. So, I feel you. <laughs> Nolan, she's but, trying her best. Leave her alone. <laughs> I, she is always trying her best. That is a damned fact. Oh, I love I, you. Speaking of classy <laughs> Chupo, 
Yeah, I have I a friend that actually like uh, got to go inside the Klasky Chupo thing, and uh, they were trying to do some sort of animations, like six second long animations starring the voice of Beast Boy, and it was gonna be. I saw that. I've yeah, seen yeah, those. yeah. Those were gonna be for Vine, but Vine uh, closed down these animations for Splat, the mascot. Oh, the, that's what that was for. Okay, that, that horrible creature sense. at the end credits. Yeah, I'm so that, confused. Yeah, exactly. I just, I just imagine that the Klasky Shupo building should be used in a Banana Splits movie type of scenario. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> there was I remember there was this like one movie from like the 80s or 90s. It was about like some horror movies that's straight to video, but it was about cartoons coming to life and there's only like one minute of actual animation oh, footage. Oh, isn't that like the weird is that the weird porno thing? That's I like, think so. Yeah, uh, like I yeah, feel like I, ha- I I forgot the name of it. I can find it though. It's like, uh, make yes. that. Robert Zemeckis' Monkey Bone. I know exactly what you're talking oh, about. Robert Zemeckis' oh. Monkey Bone. Close enough. Just like, uh, just like Lupin the Third, the guy, um, the author was named as Donkey Punch, I believe. Uh oh. Yes. Uh-oh. I, I, I gotta watch more Lupin. I'm, uh, I'm I do too. To my, I've been trying to get my dad to watch Castle of Cagliostro with me. Um, <laughs> oh, I want to watch. I'm, if he if he bails, I'll watch it with you because I haven't seen that movie damn. either, along with uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, Back to the Future one and three and two. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I haven't. What? I haven't three seen. And two? What I haven't order seen. Also, but what do you mean you? Ha- All right, you know what? That's fair because my best friend hasn't seen the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So me neither. I haven't. Have I. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I've, you I've know, watched you know, the first one in college. My um, art teacher. Uh, well, I went to art college. Uh, the sculptor teacher, he like made me as part of the first assignment of sculpting to watch the first Lord of the Rings movie, but director's cut. It was like four hours uh, long and fucking. It what was that boring. Sculpture, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, he also talked about like how we should buy gold and a lot of conspiracy theories. I don't oh, sweet. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Did that work out? <laughs> wow. Sorry. Again, okay. chicken. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so unprofessional. Um, so my friend watched Terminator 2 with me for the first time. And mm. what the hell did you just send them? <laughs> what oh, is God, this? I don't know what that is. That's from the yeah. Scooby-Doo movie. Oh, yeah. The... <laughs> Explain what this is. context, uh, Nolan just posted a picture of the uh, Mary Jane character from Scooby-Doo, the live action movie, after she gets her head hit and there's a CGI eye. It's creepy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they CGI'd her mouth, too. Yes. Mm. Her, eye, her eyes oh aren't even God. in focus. Her eyes aren't even like level or focused. They didn't give a shit. I love it. Oh yeah, I I found out that. Have you guys seen the cut opening for that movie? That's like really well animated. That they included on the VHS and stuff. Oh yes. Wait, what? Oh, it was so good. In the DVD special features, there's a alternate intro, like text credits, <sighs> where like it's like super. Tu- it's like it's a two D animated. It's really stylized and it's super good. Like I I really like it, or at least. My memory hmm. of it is good. I, I didn't it, know that. Yeah, I watched it recently, and um, I, I mean, I'm sure one of us could link it in the chat. I mean, it's easy to find. You just search up Scooby Doo 2002 cut opening, and you and you'll find it. The reason it was cut is because it was too long, but it had oh. so much effort put into it. Um, oh, oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, I, I yeah. just pulled it up. They have like this like nice little dance move with da- uh, Daphne. Oh yeah, it, it's awesome. Holy, sorry, I'm I'm kind of uh, lick me that shit, bro. Very brother, bro. I, I that love one, yeah. It. They um, uh, that um, oh yeah, I I watched Scooby Doo on Zombie Island for the first time recently. Finally, yeah. And you know, now I, you I can watch the that. second one. Yeah, the second one, it's so good. <laughs> I will not. I will not comment no. on this. <laughs> no. No. I, I won't comment, but I you know I've I've heard things anyway. Um. It is really good. Like, I, I was, you know, because I had so many people, because I've seen a lot. I've seen Scooby-Doo in a cyber chase as a kid. You know, I saw Witch's Ghost, which I got to watch Witch's Ghost again because I remember really liking that one. But Zombie Island is on another level of quality, man. It is so good. It it's, is. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it looks gorgeous. I thought TMS animated it for a second because those transformation sequences look very 90s TMS, like. Like uh, like Batman the Animated Series esque when they took over and animated. Yeah, stuff like that. I think yeah. they are. Nah, there. I did some research. They're a different studio. They maybe some of the people work work there also worked at TMS, but hmm. um. Oh yeah. So anyway, 
back to what I was saying about Terminator 2. So my friend had never seen it, right? <laughs> right. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, so it was on topic for a while, and then it became really off topic. But he, uh, he, you know, he didn't like the first Terminator because I, I, I don't really know why. I'd have to talk to him about it later. He was actually the guy that just brought me the chicken. Anyway, um, he didn't know that uh, the T-800, Arnie's character, was the good guy. He thought it was the bad guy. So, you know how in the early 90s trailers, like, James Cameron never intended for um, it to be revealed that yeah. you know, Arnie was the good guy uh, Arnie was the good guy until the movie came out. It's kind of like what happened with Blade Runner, where Denny Villeneuve didn't want people to find out that Harrison Ford was in it, but he was plastered all over marketing just because. <laughs> so, he got the original James Cameron, spe you know, specific experience, and... I was like, oh my god, you really... I was thinking in my head, oh my god, he really doesn't know. And Damn. for a while, he really thought the T-1000 was the good guy. And then when he said, get down, he shot the T-1000. My friend was like, dude, no way! <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I could not believe that there was one person in the world that's still like that, and they're my best friend. That's the best! Damn. <laughs> Jeez, it's yeah. like one of those little kids reacting to like Darth Vader being the father of Luke. Yeah, and stuff. exactly. Wow. Well, it's like, look, you gotta understand, not everybody's seen every movie ever made, so you know. Yeah, but the T there has I mean, to be Terminator one too. movie. There has yeah. to be one movie. Look, yeah, I haven't seen Mean mean Girls until like two weeks ago. Okay. Wow. Really? Yeah. Same. I still haven't seen it actually. Wow. wow. That's okay. Until um, a few years ago, my friend, um, my brother Finn, and my friend uh, Chris Oni, uh, you guys probably know him, they told me to watch it. And I was like, oh, but isn't it just like one of those, you know, generic early 2000s girl movies? And I was like, they're like, no, it's genuinely amazing. I was like, okay. And I watched <laughs> it on the plane. I was like, this is like probably one of the best comedies to ever come out into the 2000s. Like, yeah. It's that good. Yeah. It is. But, um, who are you? <laughs> he did that already. He okay, said did that earlier. We? I'm just yeah. like... I'm... We're editing... Man, you said you'd edit that in. Are you going to forget don't... to do edit I hope... out stuff, too? I hope not. I'm trying my best. Your best Man, is not fucking... Your best is not oh fucking enough. I'm trying. Really. I'm trying. That's all right. It's, it's You're... Everything is okay. Yeah. Is it okay? I don't know. I just love the implication yeah. of who are you as if like you just walked into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Also, can you give me some ID and can you give me your social real quick? Who are um, you? Um, what? Speaking of speaking of Scooby Doo, my friend told me to wear like a white undershirt near my like over my my t shirt, and I was like, well, like skag like skaggy like shaggy from Scooby Doo too, and they were like, yeah. It'll be really early 2000s. And I was like, you think I'd look good in that? And they were like, yeah. I was like, okay, I guess I can try it. Um, <laughs> uh, I was, I'm doing a New York Comic Con. So, like, obviously my show, the show I'm doing is for kids, right? New York Comic Con. I, mm -hmm. bought, a Berserk, I, bought, a, I bought a Berserk shirt recently. Nice. Uh, you know, the, the, yeah, and it's, re it's a really nice shirt. And uh, in my head, like, I'm obviously not going to do it. But in my head, I was like, what if I wear this shirt on the panel? Do it, Howard. <laughs> yeah, do it. Do it. it. No, no, I'm not, do I'm not doing it. it. I don't want to Coward. getting angry. Because they're going to look it up later like, oh, I'm berserk. What, what's this series? This looks really cool. <laughs> so I don't want to. I don't want to. They'll probably ask you to like tape it up with like electric tape or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> they, that, that is a thing. You'd be surprised how much like, like even, you know, content aside, like uh, brand recognition is like you know and copyright is important especially if you're like like every single audition i do if i do like an on-camera audition because i i was on the show recently called uh the in between which is on nbc mm -hmm. uh and he uh you have to do all no matter what project you're doing you have to have like a blank shirt no matter what damn because it's just it's just a thing it's I, I don't exactly know the full details but it's important for sure well mm -hmm. it's one of those things where like um if you have like a logo or anything that um there's there's liability where like the brand might not want to be associated with the show or content that you're currently doing and <laughs> you mean like berserk <laughs> sure Please. but like it's just one of those things where if they don't want to associate with it and you have it on 
uh, they don't want the liability of getting sued or some kind of issue later on. So it's just best for the, you to not have that. And so they don't have to edit it out or add some kind of annoying element to blur. it, like a blur. Or if they yeah. want to use that audition in some something on YouTube or some behind the scenes thing, it's better if they can just like not have to blur you out the whole way. Because if you watch like early 90s hip hop videos, they would just let people wear the shirts and then they'd blur it out. But the video would be like unwatchable because be like completely blurred <laughs> everywhere it was like ridiculous so. my favorite is when you can just tell what the blur is like a soldier yeah. boy it's he clearly has a superman logo but it's all blurred out wait Have so DC, ever... oh. dc wouldn't let that happen sorry nah that's okay dc said no to soldier boy damn that's soldier boy told them soldier boy does that all the time though he did a whole song about goku he's he made a game console that's just an emulator Bitch, I look like Goku. Bitch, I look like Bushy. I'm hopping at that old school. 64 and Paula. Swag. Hold on. Are we talking about Soja Boy or that, a Kanye West? Now? That's literally the lyrics. Yeah, but it sounds like a Kanye song. No, nah, I mean, Kanye's done an Akira song, but that was more, that was like, I mean, that was enough. To, yeah, it was It was enough to a point where it was like a homage. He did it with Daft Punk. He, that um, happened. Yeah, I actually really like that song. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, man, I, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, speaking of hip-hop, have you guys ever heard uh, – uh, uh, do you guys any uh, Tupac fans here? Do you guys like Tupac at all? I like Tupac. Somewhat, yeah. I like the conspiracies. Shut up, yeah, Nolan. Me too, actually. That's, like, my favorite conspiracy theory, just because it's so mysterious and, like, there's so much surrounding it that's, like, what if, though? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what conspiracy that he's still alive or that what, he's still what, alive what? and he's in cuba that whole thing yeah because oh i mean whole, just yeah. i just meant could the conspiracies in general because i like to hear what people come up with or think about i mean like, did, you ever, yeah. did you ever see that dave Chappelle sketch where it's um they're in the club and they're dancing and it's like you know they kept putting out tupac albums for like 10 years after he died and he'd oh, be yeah. like referencing things that currently happened and they go no i'm not talking about george bush i'm talking about a mayor in minnesota you probably oh, haven't heard that. of him <laughs> and it was yeah. like it was like really funny because it did like at that point you're like how can this keep, keep putting out albums like this is ridiculous like, and then yeah and then and then uh dave Chappelle's like face it kept getting like more and more like what is going on, dude? <laughs> yeah, because it kept being like, like just like 9-11, but not that one. I mean, another <laughs> you didn't hear about it, but... I meant the one that uh, Notorious Big was talking uh, about. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. Uh, something like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> but what I was what I was going to say was like, so before, before he died, um, God rest his soul, he did a song called uh, Ghetto Gospel that Eminem eventually remixed and produced into like an official song. But he, like, slowed him down to make it more of this, like, kind of epic-sounding orchestral check, and it's okay. But mm -hmm. the original leaked, like, a couple of uh -oh. years ago, and it's great. Hmm. Like, it, it, it samples, um, oh, man, what, what's her name? Oh, Tracy Chapman. Yeah, Tracy Chapman. Tracy he Chapman. sampled the Tracy Chapman song. Oh. Along with something else, and it it the sound quality itself is pretty bad because it's a leak, but it it sounds genuinely like this should. Oh man, I wish this was completed instead of what Eminem put out. But, oh yeah, not to say that you know Eminem doesn't make good good music. He he does, but like I don't know. I I feel like he didn't do ghetto gospel justice. Look, I'm sure Eminem tried his best on GarageBand on his uh, Mac OS. He was. <laughs> Yeah, you mean in 2001? Yeah, I bet he did. No, he, he used um, uh, MTV Music Generator on PS1 to complete the song. Ah, uh, nice. now you're, okay, now you're speaking my language. So, what are you here to promote? Um, I'm here to, well, I was here to promote my show Last Kids on Earth. Um, and, I, and, and I am here to say, please watch Last Kids on Earth. We worked very hard on it. I'm very proud of it. I'll um, only watch it if it has a Flash game tying into it. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's animated. I, I think it's animated in Toon Boom. There is a video game coming out for PC and consoles. Uh, oh, so that... are you are you I, allowed to say that? Yeah, I'm allowed to say that. It got announced. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if I'm involved with it though. So I haven't. I haven't like Damn. anything, or I haven't. I haven't done anything for it yet. What but yeah, it's coming in 2021. 
That's like forever. We won't live that long, possibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the rapture is happening. Why yeah. Yeah. Two is gonna happen, you guys. Uh oh. Okay, okay, so like, talk to us. How did you get involved with the last kids on Earth? Jack Sullivan here. Zombies and giganto monsters have taken over my town. <laughs> Now my life is basically the plot of a video game. Okay, so I this was like the the longest audition process I've ever had, probably because they wanted to find the right person for this you know big franchise they're making. Considering you know we're getting like a toy line, we're getting a video game coming out. Um, so yeah, like we have the special, and then there's a full season coming out next year, and then I believe we also have uh, an, an interactive special coming out. Uh, how I got involved was basically. Like any other audition I got, I got it. Uh, I auditioned for both Dirk, uh, who is the uh, the big dude, big character, uh, kind of like bully esque with a heart of gold, and then I auditioned yeah, yeah. for Jack. And uh, I think I got callbacks for both, but only Jack ended up moving forward. So for like a three month period, I just kept doing new stuff for Jack. And I think even when I was in Dublin, I ended up sending an MP3 uh, file. Uh, I, it's funny because uh, I was like cooped up in this hotel for like two weeks. Um, in like Emiscary, which is like two hours away from from Dublin, actually. And mm-hmm. I did another podcast around that time called uh, Schmucks, which is uh, Psychic Pebbles' podcast. I did that with my brother Finn, mm-hmm. and I ended up sending that all the way around the world back to Vancouver. And then I went in, I believe, one more time, just to uh, you know do some touched up lines or better lines, and then. I remember I got shortlisted for it, and I, I was thinking to myself, and I was talking to my dad, I said, well, you know what, this is, was a three-month process, and even if I don't get it, at least I got this far. And actually, Zach told me the same thing that my dad told me. It's like, listen, like, you got so far in this, you did a, this was a three-month period of you just, like, working your butt off just to get to the point where you are, and... That he said, like, they, they'd they be lucky to have you. And I said, oh, thanks, man. Literally the morning later, I got the part. <laughs> Yay. So that, was pretty, that was pretty satisfying, but... I'm curious, yeah. what's your what's your uh, Dirk voice? Like, My Dirk was... voice? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Want to hear... Oh, that's a good question. No one's actually ever asked that. Um, I think... Oh, man, what was my Dirk voice? Um, I think my Dirk voice was something like this. So kind of similar to what, <laughs> what Charlie does with his Dirk voice. Except his kind of sounds more like Kuwabara from Yu Yu Hakusho. You know? <laughs> You're messy. So it, it's... My voice was... My voice was kind of more like this, like deeper down. But um, but his is more uh, like up in the throat area. So... Yeah. yeah I can't really do it because it's Charlie's. <laughs> and that's why he got it. And I didn't. But I got Jack instead, which is... It's pretty much just my normal voice, but in kind of a higher register like this. So. Yeah, when I heard the when I heard you were going to uh, be on, I was like, "Is this kid like 15? Who is this?" <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Like I, uh, I, people say, yeah, like I sound age, and that's that's great if you're like a voice actor. Like Yuri Lowenthal yeah. has been voicing that kind of age group for years, and like <laughs> he's like 50 now. He's like in his late 40s, maybe. He's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah, um, but you- yeah. Uh, do you when you record voices for the show? Do you guys record all together or separately? Uh, we record. Good question. So it, it's it's a it's a strange process, but a really fun one. So we do record all together. So it's me and Charlie who are in Vancouver, and then Monte Hernandez and Garland Witt record in L.A. And then our director is in Vancouver, and our showrunner is in L.A. at the same time. So mm-hmm. we use this technology called Sync Sync Speak. So mm-hmm. we'll perform a line, and then a few seconds later, they'll come back to us with their line. So it's it it still works out really well in terms of hmm. chemistry, and there's hardly any delay. Sometimes we'll have a little a few glitches with the audio, but not too often to the point where it you know it gets distracting, which is good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Monse is um she's the voice of Gwen on the new Ben Ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's the yeah, she's also the new uh, League of Legends cha- uh, champion. I don't remember her name, but she's her. Jessica. And... What? <laughs> her name is Jessica. Is it actually? No, or it's not could... Jessica. Is, it, is that the League of Legends character? It yeah, has to be League like a mysterious name, like Mystery or Jessica. <laughs> I like yeah, Jinx. Mysterieska. Mysterieska. Mysterieska or Debbie. Our, uh, Debbie. our friend Katrin's actually really good friends with her. 
the the voice of Gwen. I can't remember her name, but oh, cool! Is she? Uh, does she work on the show? She used to work on uh, Ben Ten as like a, 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 a like a production manager type thing. Yeah, she was um, doing the timing, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, like, oh, okay. Was she, was she the line producer? Yeah. Katrin, sound off in the comments below. What was your official job <laughs> title on Ben 10 2016? <laughs> but yeah, also, awesome. yeah. No, sorry, go ahead. Katrin's sorry, sorry. awesome. She's actually moved on to doing storyboard for random projects. Yeah, oh, she's doing nice. great. Yeah. Cool. So she's freelance and working on all kinds of stuff. That's that's great for Hell yeah. her resume. Yeah. He's uh he's badass or she's badass. I how okay. Uh, I'm Monster. tired. It's like uh, it's late at night, my time. You know what? You know what I'm tired of. What? Whatever problem correlates to the ad break in Pan's video. Uh oh. <laughs> Play the ad. Okay. Give us a nice segue. Man. Play the ad here. Are you guys ready for some raid? Raid hey. like the what I use to kill bugs. No, you fool. It's Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> I don't know if we're sponsored by them in this episode. <laughs> no, I no think we are. are. I just, because yeah. every YouTube video I've watched now has like a little introduction. Hey, before we actually get to the thing you actually want to watch, we're going to advertise this overly advertised product. They're going to ra- they're gonna raid your house with the power of Raid Shadow Legends. Uh-oh. Yeah. They're going to raid your house with Raid Shadow Legends and they're going to spray Raid all over you. The kind that No, that smells bad. No, seriously though, like I, I love I, the idea I'll... that like somebody comes to Pan's house. Is this Pan Pizza? Of yes. Pan taxi, and he's just like, Oobie. and they're like, what? What is this? <laughs> and then Nesk is like, Wait, 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 wait! Oh. Is Pan in your scenario, uh, Miss Piggy? <laughs> no, he's, he's just no, he's woomying. He always woomies whenever he like know what to say. I know, but it's, you just straight up woomying. Like, Listen. Woomy, Woomy is, uh, is, uh, you know, the, be- the, Woomy, Woomy is bad taste. Wemo. Now that's, that's the, that's the good Yay. stuff. Yay. Wemo's the good stuff. Yeah. Too bad, uh, <laughs> I don't like Octo there. I don't like their kind. What? What did you just say to Wait, me? are you, wait. Nothing. Octo are being, what, are you being I don't, squid racist? I don't agree with their Do you remember existence. that? Do you remember they did a Splatfest and Nintendo absolutely knew what they were doing with the writing where Pearl was like, um, no, uh, Marina was like, hey, uh, don't you think this Splatfest might be, like, really, really dangerous? And Pearl was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, well, you know, like, don't you think it could make these two communities, like, really, really angry against each other? It's like, like in the fashion sense? He's like, yeah, because they're fashion sense. And then Pearl immediately is like, hey, you know, you know, squids have more legs than octopus. It's like, Marina, Pearl, you know what you're doing! Yeah, race war. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, dude, the localizers for Splatoon are hilarious. What do you think? What What will be your weapon when the up- upcoming race war happens? I'm not talking about this, man. I'm not talking about this. <laughs> this is where I, he draws the line. Also, Octo way better than Inklings. I'm throwing that hot take onto this uh, grill. I yeah. like that. But you brought up the race war on the podcast. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Charles Manson. <laughs> like, I want my Nickelodeon ha- Thanks, Pan. Thanks, Pan slash, if that is your real name. Uh-oh. It is. Okay. As you all know. Did you guys watch uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I did, yes. That was a very good movie. It was, um, it was a fun movie, yes. I, I hope they keep the same writers for the localization of Splatoon 2 on, because I know there's different localization teams, depending on if it's in... Uh, like, the Europe has their own localization team, even if it's in, like, different English. Like, they even get their own Splatfests over there. They had, like, a toilet Damn. paper Splatfest. Oh, joy. Oh, yeah. wow. Hey, I mean, Golly. You know, whatever's, you know, whatever they can do that's, like, weird, I'm I'm for it. Uh, you know, even whatever's better than mayo versus ketchup, my fave. Listen, the next, the there's next a Splatfest. reason why mayo won, and I voted for it, because why? Japanese mayo is the bomb. Hmm, I haven't tried that. It's just what like you, J- Japanese KFC. What KFC. do you eat it with? Yeah. Food, Pam. Japanese, oh, in Japanese general. Mayo, what's it called? It's called Kupai? 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 Remember, there's, um... Uh, there's this stuff called a Lola. Is there somebody... A Lola or something? I can't remember what it's called. Aoli? Like, 
Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That oh, shit's yeah. amazing. That shit's yeah. basically mayo, but with chipotle, and it's fantastic. Yeah, chipotle aioli. I get that all the time I go to this uh, this burger place in Vancouver called Romer's. They make good stuff. There's what a was ra- that? Oh, sorry. Sorry, there's a ramen shop in, uh, right off little Tokyo that we went to called Shinsengumi, I think. Oh, and I I've tried... been there. That place is good. Yeah, I, I want to go back to California to have some of that fucking ramen, but, like, it was a two and a half hour wait. And, like, all my friends were scared because, like, some dude was, like, waving a katana sword around in little Tokyo. So the whole place was on lockdown. And then a, like, homeless guy came, screamed at his reflection. But then we got the ramen and I had some takoyaki. And I was like, this shit is actually bomb as fuck. So go eat some takoyaki, kids. Make some of I, some yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. It's very doughy. It's, like, it melts in your mouth, but it's got some good octopus inside. I know that, that sounds mm, a little weird. But, oh, my God, it's good. No, I but, love yeah, it when people mm-hmm. melt in my mouth. <laughs> speaking of mayo uh, <laughs> speaking of mayo what, what do you are you remember, going with this one do you remember miracle whip yes. you, know, you mean cool whip we, st- what, we still have a miracle whip yeah that's still around oh okay because i remember like the 2010s or so like uh there was this one there was this series of commercials where it's like hey we're changing the world miracle whip we will not try to blend in disappear in the background play second fiddle when we're in a sandwich a salad a panini or crostini you'll know it we're not like the others we won't ever try to be we are our own unique one-of-a-kind flavor we are miracle whip and we will not tone it down i think i just saw that commercial but it wasn't like a miracle whip commercial it was the people who miracle whip i'm (laughs) <laughs> like ninety nine percent sure that's what you're talking about. Like I recall, like Lady Gaga used Miracle Whip in a commercial, uh, not not in a commercial, in like one of her music videos. Like they were seriously pushing Miracle Whip as this new hip millennial thing. Was that the telephone one or the one where they like it's like a basically a movie music video? Telephone, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where, where it's like a murder mystery. Hell? What are the What are those things called? Um, an ARG with Miracle Whip. Nice. I hope so. A cool web ARG, just like a uh, Patrice Wilson after um that shit where he like just gets like okay. teenagers to do all shitty right. music videos. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I know what you're what? talking about. No, he did an ARG. What... Yeah, well, you know, nobody else does. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> after after, after he did Rebecca else, Black's yeah, Friday yeah. and tried to replicate that success, he did this like weird ARG that even um that Nick wouldn't even touch. Shout out to my boy Nick Nocturne. <laughs> Oh. Have, you, um, have you seen the uh, the Chinese food music video and it's like the creepiest thing ever that he, he uh, did? You mean it's the greatest music video ever? I remember H3H3, that was like one of his first videos and he got like, he got a lot of views off of that and it really is like, it really is bizarre. Like it's like, oh my God, it's like, it's like she's in a dollhouse and he's like, like right outside the window, like peeking in and he's like giant. It's like, oh, oh God, get this, ugh, stop. Some people would be into that, probably. Yeah, uh, but not us. That's no, not us. That's, not that us. sounds like that Ed. And, no, no, that looks like that Ed and Eddie music video, you know, where da, da, the, it's, the ones where they're in a dollhouse and Tara's there, and it's like I'm not coming here anymore. Oh, or, I don't remember that episode. That show was made here in Vancouver. Wait, oh, are you, are you in Vancouver right now? Yeah, I live here. Um, You're not in California? No, I'm trying to get an 01. Pan, are you in California or are you in Texas? No, I'm in the most southern point of Texas, but I did visit uh, Burbank recently. Oh, yeah, Burbank's nice. A lot of my friends live out there. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm working on getting an 01 to get down there. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to... Are, I'm trying are you to... Canadian? Yeah, we're, well, I'm Canadian, born and raised. And, oh, cool. Yeah, that, Ed and Eddie was... It was born... It was born. It was all made here. Uh, there's actually a funny story about the voice of Naz, uh, Erin Fitzgerald. Do you guys know who she is? Yeah. 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 She, she was also, uh, oh, uh, she, uh, she was in Persona 4. She, she, a, she, a, in Persona she 4. She, Santanaka, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she, so she was the original voice of Naz. And then she eventually moved to LA and, uh, Danny Antonucci, I think that's name, yeah. right? Yeah, Antonucci. Yeah, so... So they were, yeah, so they they recorded out of Vancouver, actually. 
the studio they recorded at, I actually recorded My Little Pony at that same studio, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. And it was, that's, I was, that was pretty cool when I found out it was the same one. But anyway, uh, so he got like multiple different voice actors to try and recreate what she did, but he just wasn't satisfied. So he paid to like fly her back out to Vancouver just to record her lines, <laughs> oh, which, is pretty, yeah. which is pretty cool. Damn. They would, ne- yeah. I don't think they would ever do that now. They'd be like, just replace her. Fuck it. They did though. They tried like two different times. I know. They tried, but they failed. That show did last like a decade, yeah. It lasted a long time, but it feels like there weren't like enough episodes to, like, like it's kind of like is it was it kind of like a Zim My Life Teenage Robot situation where they finished a bunch of episodes and they just aired them later? Was it like that or? Because I feel like there weren't enough episodes well, to last it like ten years. Maybe there was. I don't know. Hmm. How many episodes are there? Let me look that up. Uh... And we're just How talking many? like you know half hour episodes and not like you know the individual fifteen minute shorts. One hundred and thirty one. Hang on, okay, one three. So that... That, that's mm-hmm. like thirteen per per year. So that's that that works. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Thirteen per thirteen per year with a show like that though, would that be the schedule they'd use? I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I, well, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll air like a shit ton of the first season early on just so they have enough so they can put in reruns. And then beyond that, it, you know, they're very sparse with how much they'll add, maybe like one a month. Oh man, it's uh, Rolf. I read the voice yeah. of Rolf. Um, at, oh, uh, man. Cause Brian, Brian Drummond, uh, he he's a co-star of mine on Last Kids. He plays Rover, who's my pet dog in the mm-hmm. show. He's also the voice of uh, the. I'm sure you guys know who he is. He's like the original voice of Vegeta. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and he was having a like his uh, big five zero, I think, birthday party, fiftieth birthday, and uh, Peter Kalamis, the voice of uh, Rolf, was there, and he was also uh, in uh, Dragon Ball Z. He was the second voice of Goku, I think. Um, I think actually I read that I talked to him about this too. The uh, the voice of Goku for Team Four Star Masako X, he apparently based his voice after him, as hmm. well as you know Masako Nozawa. The original. Very nice. He, <laughs> and he yeah, and I was talking to him, and he did the voice of Rolf without me even asking. I was just like, dude, me and my friends always quote you, and he was like, ah, oh, thank you so very much, Nick Boy, and I was like, <laughs> uh, it's, it's cool just to be in that kind of scenario. It's a good well, thing like, we don't know what uh, ethnicity Rolf is. Otherwise, he'd be very offensive. Isn't he like Norwegian or something? No one he's knows. A, he's like a he's like a vague, nondescript one, I yeah. believe. Like oh. Fez from a that '70s show. It, he's. I mean, I could. He's probably of like Viking descent or something, right? Like, isn't that the whole? Joke? <laughs> I hope so. I don't, I don't know. Like, no one knows. Well, I, I think the joke is that he's just the play on the foreign exchange student type character. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought I, I thought for like northern. I thought he was like you know around like the the uh, the Sweden the Sweden Norway Finland area and uh, Poland, and he was like you know possibly. Uh, no, I, I, I think the whole joke is that you don't know what he is. He's just oh, foreign. Okay. He's just every concept of foreign. It's okay. time we make uh, the problem with Rolf. <laughs> <laughs> Rolf spinoff show no it's got to go we, on true tv can- yeah we got to cancel rolf it's time yeah. plank will be the uh the prime suspect plank oh, will be man. the host tired of plank's bs plank just never understood what we were going for is that right plank see what i mean he's just sitting there he, he's just sitting there yeah s- staring at me what uh, are you doing plank what, plank what no plank put the knife down plank uh-huh. Plank, I'm not going to wear the sailor suit. I have a right to be here. Oh, wait, wait, what? Plank, that sailor suit doesn't fit anymore. What are you talking about? Am I going to have to edit uh, wood wood clanking sound effects? Yeah, do that. Oh, you won't, I, coward. I'll try. I'll get I'll get some driftwood outside my house. There was a storm recently. <laughs> was that a okay. joke in Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the sailor suit thing that I'm not understanding? Nah. That was a That's Simpsons a... reference. Oh, yeah. I, I just I just said fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, oh, okay. just fuck it. Was that just what, wait, wait? Oh, was that like the side? Was that the one of the sideshow Bob episodes? Uh, it was no, no. Maybe? Oh, oh, I don't know. I just was I don't know. It. it was Seymour who said it. Uh, yeah, Seymour Skinner. When, when he was looking oh. at it, at his house and just 
it, it, it was, was like a, it was, a reference to Psycho. Yeah. It was the Psycho house. Yeah. What a pan edits in like, eat gods! I can't get in that sailor suit. Eat gods! My sailor suit is ruined! <laughs> yeah! But what unless, if... Unless... Unless... Yeah, if I were to find another sailor suit and make it he look then, like the old one. He then goes to an adult clothing store. He comes back in like oh, no. <laughs> the most skimpy sailor suit ever and then, and then he's like, Skinner! Why are, you, what, why are you not wearing pants? Uh, uh, yeah, it's a regional dialect. Kids emotions of blood, but the nevertheless raw belt when the wall broke free. Every rock star that's wild was a rage driven child, like in this movie. Uh, so, um, Pan had asked questions on Twitter for us to answer. I'm going to throw this into the group chat so that Some, someone just didn't ask a question they just said nostalgia critics the wall review Uh oh. <laughs> literally like it's, it's amazing word. yeah that but also it's amazing how a man can like be on the internet making content for 10 years and somehow not improve what what i don't get about i haven't watched this review but like i have this this is what's broken him to everyone i'm like what so this was the moment we're giving up. Like I just find that to be very weird. Like after it's, the change the channel. Did you thing, see the video? It's for a forty minute musical. Nostalgia it's a can somehow get away with these things that people complain about for like up two months, and then it'll go on like nothing happened because his fan base is so like just okay with whatever he does. Because I don't know why it's like I, it's such a weird like conundrum. Like I, I have never seen changeover? another situation like it. Well, on YouTube, there's a lot of changeover. So, like, it's very rare that you have, like, a diehard fan that's, like, consistently all, you know, from the beginning to the end. Especially a lot of these channels have been around for 10, 20 years. No. No. You know, 10 years. No. That's Uh, not true. Some some fans told me they've been watching me for, like, 10 years. Yes, there is outliers, Pan. But for the most part, the general people who watch, the reason why there's not, like, you know, if if you have a subscriber count of 300,000 people and your videos are only making 30,000 views, it's because... You know, there's subscriber burnout. Either people change what they like look at and such. So no. a lot of the new um, nostalgia critic fans aren't people that have been around forever. You know. Yeah. Wait, so, so wait. So you're just so we're all clear. You're you're saying that there are people who watch the current nostalgia critic content and are fans of that. Sadly, yes. Wow. Hey, what's I mean, the, what, what's that life like? I just want to let you know, Jim, that people watch us. I mean that I've heard that from people before, but I still don't believe it. I don't either. I think it's a, I think it's like a huge conspiracy thing where people like working together to try to gaslight us into thinking our podcast is successful. Yeah, <laughs> oh, famous celebrity, that. famous celebrity Finn Wolfhard watches um, the most deviant, grossest podcast on the internet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ha- is that us? <laughs> Are we the grossest <laughs> podcast on the internet? Yes. Yeah, sure. I oh, guess. No. Are we that? I mean, I, I thought that's what you guys were implying. Do you, oh. are, Nick, are Nick, not? knowing with your uh, industry connections, do you know if anybody else listens to the Pizza Party podcast like Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> oh yeah. What? She watches, well, I mean, it's I mean, it's possible her favorite show is Ren and Stimpy. So. What the fuck? Scarlett Johansson listens to us, you guys. Scarlett, you can yes. do the podcast. Contact us. I, I, I think don't know Scarlett Johansson. I don't know Scarlett. I know. Damn. You, I know you're. I know you're messing around. But like, I don't know. And a lot of people assume I have like these indus, like these big celebrity connections. I really we were making don't. a joke. It was what, just what, a yeah, joke. What I, got, I know. But like... I know. I know. I'm just. I'm not talking about you guys. Okay. It's like people always assume. Like, no. I. I mean, I know voice. I know some voice actors, but that's that's really about it. And I know mm-hmm. anime. A lot of animators. I more so mean like through the like grapevine. You know, like when you're like at a party oh. and you're just like sipping like. Uh, uh, Fiji, like filtered does, apple juice or whatever. You hear something oh, I like, see "What do you mean?" Does like Harvey Weinstein say, "Man, I like these podcast boys." No, what? No, what? what? Harvey what? What? Us. what? 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 <laughs> I, what I really got out of this whole thing is that Scarlett Johansson is a John K. apologist. That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She would. Uh, she probably, dude. She probably has. A, I doubt she's even heard about it. Maybe she has. I don't know. She probably, she's going to play John know, Kay like, in the movie. Know, it's hard to know with Scarlett Johansson because 
Like, the thing is, you you expect her to never, like, be into, she likes. Like, like would you have ever guessed that she is, like, a huge Ren and Stimpy fan? No. No, you wouldn't. I mean, no. she was... You know how she got the Spongebob movie? It's because she was a huge Nicktoons fan. I didn't know that. I thought they just wanted diversity casting. No, they... Well, I mean, Steven Steven Helm... I'm pretty sure Steven Helmberg or someone attached straight up said that, yeah, she was like a huge, like, Spongebob slash Friends Stimpy slash Nicktoons fan, so we, you know, we got got her on and she was more than happy to to come on and, you know, play Mindy or something. Yeah. Damn. I, I, that's... I'm... Yeah, well... Really sure that's part of why she got Look, she's... I mean, she is pretty young, so it's like she probably grew up watching uh, '90s Nickelodeon. So, oh, ab- yeah, I'm sure, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, first of all, she's a girl, so there's a high chance she's super cartoons, in my experience, at least. She what? Uh, uh, girls, just girls in general. I always find super into cartoons. Uh, oh, yeah. Any other like demographic? And yet, they're the when they're marketed to the least. Oh. I know it's weird. It's girls like we hate buy ourselves. Fucking toys, you guys. Why won't they buy our toys? <laughs> that was, I don't know what that voice was. You just don't got either. it. either. Don't ever do it again, please. <laughs> okay. <It's t- laughs> Here's a question for me. When Somebody just back. going, stop. <laughs> are you talking about, are you talking about when uh, Young Justice got canceled for that reason? Oh, yeah. That was an example, but like a lot of shows like get canceled because the toys won't do well quote unquote even though they never try so yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's just let's hope that doesn't happen to my show <laughs> oh no no sorry i don't even know yeah. if the toys are on the market yet i hope they will be soon i actually really want to buy the uh the Lou, uh jackson louisville slicer so it's kind of weird that the, the toys aren't out before the show being released because usually that's like a really common thing I don't know. Look, I, I, it wasn't I the no 80s. Idea. Maybe they'll come out when the, uh, the like proper season comes out next year. Because we just I, did I, a special, so. Yeah, okay, yeah. there's like regulations about that now after the 80s. Like you can't I, launch toys when you launch a new show or something like that. No, no. I mean like in the in the Ninja Turtles and the Power Rangers. Because my roommate's really fucking obsessive about this shit. Uh, every, can't, go, can't go to a store without in the toy you aisle. You like how Ratchet and Ironhide got shot to death by Megatron and then never up here again and they were supposed to have an even more gruesome death where they got melted together and then starscream oh. blasted them you, you guys don't know first of this? all awesome another transformer fan uh not my point but yeah <laughs> no because like th- th- they killed them all no well they killed them all off so they could introduce toys yeah, yeah. oh yeah you're talking about the transformers in the 80s right the movie, yeah like the movie yeah, was yeah. basically like the phase one into phase two like transition like movie like yeah, so what happened was those deaths were originally supposed to be even more morbid. Like, um, originally what happened was, uh, I think it was Prowl. So Prowl was supposed to get his entire uh, stomach blasted through, and he would have, like, metal, like, entrails coming out. And, like, he would have, like, you know that scene <laughs> where, like, there's smoke coming out of his mouth? That was, yeah, it, yeah. it was supposed to be, like, even more mob- morbid than what was shown. And then... Uh, I think there was another one that was like, I don't remember who it was. Uh, it might have been Sunstreaker. I don't remember if Sunstreaker was on that was on that ship, but he got like his shoulder got grazed in the original. I think his shoulder, his whole arm was supposed to be was supposed to come off. So mm-hmm. my favorite thing about the Transformers movie is that I did I watched Beast Wars growing up, and oh yeah, I, that I was had made here too. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. It is very Canadian. Weirdly Rain enough, maker. it's called Beasties there. <sighs> um <laughs> yeah yeah because it, i don't know it's weird but um so the my favorite thing about the movie is in the dvd i had purchased it after as an and one of the dvd or well as a teenager young adult uh watching it there's literally one of the dvd chapters is a uh, square word and i clicked on it and it's just like oh shit oh shit what are we gonna do now open damn you there's a lot they got away with in that movie they, um, well, it was targeted at weirdly. It was weirdly adult. What it, it was. was. Yeah. yeah. Optimus straight up died in it pretty well, recently he's, well, too. Well, he's Transformer Jesus, so it's okay. He got re-risen. Yeah, he did yeah. because um, toy sales. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the PK fans loved him I so do. much that they just couldn't see him go. I know Cartoon Network only makes uh, toys based on a show after it reaches its second or third season. That way, they know it's a, it's a success. Otherwise. They don't want to waste plastic on something that's not going to sell. 
Okay, so maybe maybe Last Kids has a similar situation. I honestly yeah. have no, I just moisten the show. Like I yeah. I, I've got no I I I don't know anything. So was the show like uh three episodes mixed together? Yeah, how did you know that? Okay, here's one clue because I remember there was one scene where like where I think it was you who said, "Man, that was the toughest 22 minutes of my life," and it's like 22 minutes is the runtime of a TV episode. This is three episodes. Oh my god! You know what's weird? Dude, until yeah. you told, I didn't get that joke until you just told it to me, and I worked <laughs> on that show. I've been working on this show for a year, and I only just now got that joke because how stupid I am. But no, yeah, um, if you want to know the process on how we worked on that special, we basically, we did three different voiceover sessions, three different four-hour voiceover sessions uh, over a three-day period, mm -hmm. and we recorded one episode, two episode, and then the third episode, um, back to back to back, um, and then we, I was thinking about, it's funny you say that, because I was thinking to myself, man, this would actually make, like, a really good, like, Castlevania-esque special if they, they aired these, like, first. And uh, I guess Atomic or Netflix or whoever had the same idea, so they decided to make it a special. So mm, yeah, oh. yeah, because I I had attended to watch the first episode of your show, uh, to be so I could actually have a discussion with you guys, and then the episode never end. It just kept going, and I was like, oh shit, it's a movie. Like it was like super long. Uh, it's like it's it's an hour and ten minutes, I think. So yeah, 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 an hour well, and seven. I only know this because I. That's kind of how like a lot of Carson's Network shows started. Like Samurai Jack and Foster started as a movie and then a TV show, oh, but then they split up those, those episodes. Back to that pan, uh, every Disney afternoon show had like four episodes or like a two to so. Transformers pilot. had it too. Oh yeah, yeah. Transformers yeah. was the same. It had uh, it had a three parter to start off with, and then Did yeah. I think the Ninja Turtles, like their original thing, was like a five, however many episode thing, and they cut it together sort of as a movie later. VHS. Yeah. Oh, is that why they the season one DVD is literally just four episodes, and the rest are like thirteen? Yeah. 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 So one thing that really bothers me is that the Darkwing Duck series. I really hope Disney Plus has the um, movie version of the pilot and not the four episodes or whatever that was cut apart. Because there's actually um, a intro that uh, how they did the um, the intro to the show for the movie is like a chase scene with him like catching a villain and uh, like you know throwing him in jail and such. Yeah, that's uh -huh. completely removed from the uh, TV uh -huh. airing. Re oh no! I mean, they, the the GI Joe movie actually aired yeah, they're on. Getting... Oh, sorry. No, the, no, it's okay. Uh, the animated movie actually aired on TV first because they oh. cut it up. So like the VHS version because it didn't get theatrically released because of the transformers movie the the vhs version was what was supposed to be in theaters but they went well we're not going to make any money on this thing because that whole optimist thing didn't work out for us so, so let's just like make it five episodes and have sergeant slaughter intro it true story like you should check out those <laughs> intros it's him going like oh last time on gi joe and he's yes. in front of a American flag and he has a birthday cake for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> okay, am I remembering this right? Because I remember like back in the day when Dragon Ball GT first aired on TV. I swear they did the same thing. Like they did, and like they didn't do the normal. No, no. With Dragon they, Ball they GT, they started the show out with like a flashback or something. And no, then what happened? It... What happened was Dragon Ball GT uh, had like a, a first run of like thirteen episodes of being more in tune with Dragon Ball, where it's all action or adventure oriented, where they just travel to different planets. Yeah. And uh, with I Dragon like Ball Z. Right. I, well, I love Dragon Ball more than like Dragon Ball Z. I know it's sacrilege, but I just, I find oh, adventure no, dude, story. That, that is, that is totally understandable, Izzy, because it's like, you know, I mean, it's kind of like apples and oranges, honestly. He is so different from the original. Dragon Ball itself is like, um, Toriyama, to me anyway, and I think he probably considers this himself too, but he was always like comedy over action. And that's part of the reason I think he stopped because he was sick of writing action show and he just wanted to go, to go back to comedy, which For I think sure. this is strong as you know, Dr. Slump. So Funimation was probably really scared to release this, you know, adventure oriented show. So they cut up this. So the first episode of, of the TV airing of GT completely just gets rid of all of that and it has like. Um, half of the episode is the first episode, and the second part is like jump cut straight to the action oriented scenes. Okay, so I wasn't okay, so I'm not going crazy. That really did happen. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, uh, 
What's sorry, up, dude? Sorry, I'm sorry. The podcast. Um, That's okay. What? Go what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? what the fuck? What just happened? Is that the pizza guy? Did we just get yeah, jump sure. scared? Was that Is what that yeah, he that... got, yeah, yeah, sure. He, uh, he, he just, he, the chicken man jump scared us. Was uh, that your brother? <laughs> uh, no. I mean, oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe. Well, you'll never, <laughs> you'll never know. That, that mystery screaming man shall forever be lost to time. No one shall ever know who it actually was. Lost um, in space. If the person Lost keeps in, in, editing in or IMDb, just just put Finn whatever as mystery screaming man. <laughs> or yeah, if it was him, okay. it's probably not. I guarantee it's not. But I just think it'd be hilarious. Okay, no this joke credit. I know who the mystery screamer was. Was it you? Know it was one? Ahmed from episode three of the Pizza Party Uh-oh. podcast. Oh, it was Jeff Bring the it, Killer. Bringing it back. Jeff the Killer, you like bad creepy bastards too? Uh, I mean, I know Jeff the Killer. <laughs> I know Ben Damn. Drowned. Okay, okay. Oh, he... Yeah, yeah. Have you met him? Have I met Ben Drowned? No, he drowned. Oh, oh, I couldn't yeah. see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's like yeah. my first creepy pasta. My first creepy pasta was Russian sleep experiment. Could someone explain to me why, like, particularly little kids, I mean, like, little kids are obsessed with pastas? Because, like, when I used to booth at, like, conventions and such and selling artwork, my creepypasta stuff sold almost exclusively to, like, uh, people who re- represent Emily, Pan's fake Yay. sister, or okay. also little tiny Uh-oh. children. I can no. explain this. I, I know. Oh, y- you, you want me? You can go ahead can... if you want. Yeah, okay. go for it. I, I have a I have a, a bit of a weird explanation for this, but it's kind of like the modern day goosebumps. So like the modern day, are you afraid of the dark? You know, all these yeah. different people kind of, you know, they share these different kind of ghost stories around the internet, and then they can write their own and they can tell other people it. Or it's kind of like a, you know, like that. And but it's also kind of like a modern day campfire story. If that makes mm-hmm. any sense. And plus, it has relatable much. scenarios. Like my Game Boy, it came to life, and Mario and the nostalgia critic started bleeding at me. And it was really weird. And, you know, Wait, like, you find uh, that you find that relatable. How did <laughs> what happened to your Game Boy? No. Nostalgia critic uh, <laughs> bled at me uh, through the through the Game oh. Boy screen. That's what that's what happened at me. How can you that's see? That's pretty in, fucked. Have you just seen the Oni Plays episode where they they play Mario Paint and Nostalgia Critic bleeds through the screen? No, nah, never mind. Uh-oh. What am I talking about? <laughs> they're they're a creepy pasta. Uh, I, I might have to see that one, but uh. Yeah, it, um, I don't know. Point point is, like ninety percent of creepy pastas are really stupid, but yeah, that's the appeal of them. You know, kids can relate to these kinds of you know weird scenarios. Like, I'm not gonna lie. As a kid, like, I was super into, like, so- Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'd make up, like, these, you know, like, these scenarios in Uh-oh. my head. Oh, like, we you know, all are. Like, I loved, I loved, like, Bakugan and stuff like that, and, you know, I'd, I'd you know, make up, like, my little own stories with little, with little balls, little uh, transforming marbles. So, you know, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like a more creative version of that, I guess, where you can actually sell it. So, Nolan, sorry, I, what, what was your theory? A game theory, No, that was pretty much the will. same theory, just, like, people, uh... People wanted to like, uh, you know, feel more serious and like, oh, I can handle more adult stuff. So they look at creepy pastas because that's scary. They don't want to prove their chicken shit. And also, Jeff uh-huh. the Killer is an outlier because he's kind of like a hot, like troubled boy you can fix. So <laughs> what? Yeah, thought... he's like, what? I thought Jeff the Killer was like this monster. What do you mean he's like this this hot like? You mean like this like that, literally that's how like people ca- that's how. Yeah, no, that's how people characterize him, because, like, the only reason he's a killer is because people bullied him, and he's just very sad and upset, and you can change him. You can you say Jeff the Killer. Bullshit! Is Jeff so the many Killer girls Logan be... Paul? Yes. Oh. Sounds like a bit of a Babadook situation. I don't know. I'm yeah. sexualized the Babadook, too. Yeah, I'm not a fan <laughs> of the Marmaduke comics, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's unrealistic. He should have been gaining weight, you know, about all the pies he was eating. It's not realistic. Mm-hmm. I need realism. He should have been dead, yeah. yeah. One time, I left... All right, no, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I was about to say, one time I left a chocolate uh, cake just for Marmaduke, but I made it look like a pie, and oh. he never ate another pie again. <laughs> what the... F- what? I really what? like that the, the gays took Boba Marmaduke. Duke. Marmaduke. Makes me Marmaduke. 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 
Marmaduke makes me puke. I understand you poisoned an, an, an animal, but what? I, I, no, I didn't poison an animal. I, I poisoned Marmaduke. Marmaduke's not a real animal. Count. Yeah, as far as Marmaduke's we know. A, Marmaduke is a, uh, is a sin. It, it's, yeah, a, they... uh, it's a concept, if you will. It's not. I it's, did... a, it's a monster from the ninth layer of hell. I, I did the world a favor, you see. I didn't know oh. Marmaduke existed until he got a shitty movie starring Owen Wilson, I believe. I remember seeing the trailer for that, and it had Tupac's California Love. Oh yeah, and it was just like oh, you think that? being a, you think being a teenager's hard. Imagine being a dog. <laughs> California knows what the party. What the fuck are you talking about? That's the commercial. That's the trailer. That's a teaser trailer. It for hints at the, at for the what? trailer. For the host? For Marmaduke, the movie. What about Heathcliff? No. <laughs> I don't know who Heathcliff Beetle is. Beetle Bailey? Is, uh, like, who are we talking about? Bailey We're talking Jay? about Beetleborgs. Ah, uh, yeah. Beetleborgs. What and Beetle VR Bailey. Wait, we are troopers. What about Ew. Street Sharks? Um. Awesome. Did they do like a... Was there like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode where they made fun of the Street Sharks, or were the Street Sharks after that? I remember there was like an episode. You know what? No, I remember what it was. They were frogs, and they no, said, okay. "We uh, hate pizza." First of all, don't be talking shit about the um, shit. I can't remember their names. I know they're all named after conquerors, like Napoleon. Is that? I'm not. Ta- I'm not talking shit. I, I'm just trying to remember like who they were. I like there was like an episode where like. The, the turtles multiple. like, dude, you want some pizza? It's real good. It's like, ew, no, we hate pizza. So when season two of uh, Last Kids on Earth coming out? I think it's uh, called next book year. two. Book next two. year. It's, it's like it's like we do it like Avatar: The Last Airbender. Book one, book two, book three, book four. Book whatever. one. Um, so which of the main characters are going to get air powers? You know, it's like uh, Avatar. That's it was a funny fire. Reference. Yeah, yeah, it was. A, it was a joke. Oh, I see. Uh, I commit yeah. it too much. Oh, okay. Um. I don't know. Jack will build uh, Quint. Uh, Jack Quint will get Jack to build some sort of uh, airbag in uh, Big Mama, which is the uh, the truck, and that that's how they'll get air powers. They'll launch them. And named they'll after be able to do some three sixty spins. Named after Eva from Metal Gear Solid Four: Guns of the Patriots. Why Eva from Four specifically? Yeah. Why Old Four? Eva. Why not Snake Eater? Because because she was called Big Mama. That was her code name in Four. Oh! Right. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I thought you were talking about the airbag. I was like, what? No, right. not the airbag. The airbag like, oh, can. Be... That's right. Her code name was Big Mama. Yeah, the airbag can be called uh, Solidus for how ineffectual it'll be. Haha. <laughs> um, there's actually a question in this thread here um, oh. that I wanted to uh, bring attention to. Uh, I believe mm-hmm. it was from. Ah. <laughs> It'll be called the Ang Three Thousand. The Ang Three Thousand. That's a good one. That'll, that's a good that'll one. be the name of the uh, the jet, the airbag, or something. I don't know. I'll talk to Max about it. See what he thinks. Nah. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, somebody named Morbid asks, uh, "Pan, are you willing to go back to Mexico?" I don't know. I've been there in forever. It's a very, right? uh, I just asked because it's a very ominous question, but it's like worded yeah. so like <laughs> matter of factly. Like, like, are you willing to go back to Mexico? I've heard it's dangerous right now, so I don't know. I've heard it's been dangerous forever, but then again, I grew up in yeah. the public American school system, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Politics you... I don't understand, because I'm Canadian. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't blame you're, you. you're, over, you're in the safe zone up there. You got nothing you're... to worry about as far as we know. I was talking to my uh, e-wife, Bob Dunga. For now! For now. I was, what's... I was talking to Raven earlier, and like Bob Dunga. she's Canadian. And she was like, I have no clue what's going on with Canadian poli- like politics. I know everything about America, but I have nothing, no idea what's going on in my own country. I'm the same way, actually. I'm, I'm kind of the same way, yeah. There was like a, there was like a maple syrup shortage, maybe? Well, they, there is actually a big blackface controversy in Canada. There is. Oh, it's yeah. With Trudeau, yeah. 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 Trudeau. Like, I think he just can't stop releasing blackface photos. Like, there's been so many at this point. I'm like, did this guy ever not? wear blackface i'm confused well because the first the first one was brown face and then stop fucking judging the guy what like you've never been in blackface before no really did you really do that in that video what video the the rocket power review 
Oh no! I mean, like if you count smu like <laughs> smudging Vegemite on my face. What my face, are you talking then... about? Wait, Vegemite? Why Vegemite? Sorry. There's a lot. There's a lot of lore, uh, Nick, that you aren't like aware of, but yeah. like. Did Tito put just... you up to this? Did Tito make you do this as some part of Hawaiian tradition? Motherfucker, I was Tito. I was <laughs> Tito. What do you mean? Oh, that's bad. That's yeah, bad. So... That's really bad. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, think no, about that. I, I, I don't know about the... I don't know about the Trudeau th uh, thing, like... Yeah, it really does seem like... I don't I don't like talking about politics, but it's Canadian politics, so I guess, you know, I I can talk about it, but, like... Yeah, it don't matter. Like, no, don't post it! Ah! It's but, uh, like... Yeah, I don't know why he did it, like, so many times. I don't understand how, how someone could do that and not know it's wrong. Like... How could you do that that many times and not have was, someone be like, hey, uh, maybe you shouldn't. It was, maybe he did. They really pulled a care. Julia Vickerman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Julia Vickerman. It was just a prank, guys. It was just a prank, bro. We didn't know. I know. I, I guess the only reason I could see him doing it so many times is because back then in those decades, it was less offensive and it was more just like, haha, that's a funny joke. Haha. <laughs> Cause like what was this like the seventies or eighties, right? No, it was, it was like two thousand. This was like two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The it wasn't like thing. the nineteen thirties. Okay. The brown. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like, the nineteen. It wasn't the nineteen thirties, but I I'd say like the 70, even in the seventies and eighties, that was super offensive. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, the particular brown face incident that he did it immediately after nine eleven. Oh. What yeah, a yeah. weird. Oh God. What a time, what a time. Did he do it on 9-11, or what? I think it was after, because Raven was making, oh. like, because Raven was trying to, like, um, it was, it was, like, this, like, uh, well, I guess it's in the past, so it's just, and I'm just kind of, I, I don't think it's bad. I don't think there's, like, a, I, I don't know, a way man. to justify like, it. Like, I'm, I, I'm a believer in, like, I'm a true people can, like, change, like, the whole, like, James Gunn thing, I, like, I believe he could change, and he did, but, like, Trudeau, I, I, I don't know because the amount of times he did it really has me skeptical. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It was mm. an accident, man. I accidentally did it. What do you I mean? mean? What if he, he was pretty much their friend who did that all the time. Yeah. yeah. What if, um, like Bugs Bunny gave him a piece of dynamite? Well, he, no, he gave him like he thought he was gonna kiss a woman and oh turned out God. to be made of dynamite and it exploded in his face and then somebody took a photo of, of him after it exploded. It's like, oh no, he's in blackface. Like, okay, sure. Happen. If that happened to him more than once, but more than likely that didn't. So I regret this podcast. It was rabbit season. It happened. It happened lots of times. Wait, was it rabbit? <laughs> Can we confirm yeah. it was rabbit season? It could be. I that want a confirmation. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so dead. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Oh, what, this no. whole podcast? Going on this podcast and just having this whole conversation, yeah. You already watched it. You knew what you were getting into. Why? Why did you want to be on this podcast? You guys were, okay, well, well you guys always seemed less raunchy when you had, like, guests on. That's why. <laughs> you, okay. Don't pin this on us. I'm not Listen pinning here. it on you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm pinning it on you. So, for not knowing... I was about to say not knowing better, but you know what? It's not even that bad. Yeah, I don't... Listen. Okay. Trudeau, um, stop. What are you doing? Don't do that anymore. Don't no. I mean, you didn't say anything bad. You just said... No, I haven't said anything at all. Yeah, I'm you're just, you're you know, good. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm good. I'm also, good. Yeah. Um, here's a question from Treble. Can you help me with my calculus homework? Just DM us. We'll help you out. Nah, yeah, sure. I'm I took that. that math class uh, that's, you know, not calculus, the, the I easy mean, I'll, one. I'll do it before dinner, kid, but after dinner, you're on your own. Because that's yeah. dad's time. Yeah. And that's and dad's that. time with a, with a Playboy and uh, a uh, bottle of Vaseline that. on hand. What, what is this, 1996? <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, that's right. You could just Google it. Never mind. Yeah. Also, uh -huh. doesn't Jim have a family? That yes, I do know. Yes, I do. Thanks you're for implying uh, that Jim would ever cheat on his family. How dare you? First of all, yeah, thanks for implying the rest of us don't have family. <laughs> I'm an I orphan. Said, I never said that. You're, you're putting have... words in my mouth here. <laughs> Stop no one, putting things in people's mouths, Izzy. No one, I'll adopt you and you can be the wacky uncle who lives in a closet. I already what? am Wait, the wacky uncle. Why are you trying uncle. to show me in the closet? <laughs> What? She's not shoving you in the closet. Is he shoving me in the closet? Oh, sorry, I misheard. But yeah, just just push him. Okay. 
one more question, then I, uh, and then I think we all need to uh, reassess and reevaluate all Wait, of our can voices. I, can, I, can I see? Can I see some of the questions? Like, yeah, yeah you can. You can pick one. Here you go. Pick one or two. Um, Here okay, you go, cuz. Uh, uh, cuz. Why aren't you deep dish pizza? Uh, well, I went to Chicago and I got diarrhea. Deep dish pizza. Uh -oh. It was like Giordano's. It was the good one. So I, you know, there's that. Giordano's um, is good. Go to Luminati's next time. Yeah, Luminati's right, okay, is delicious. I'll try them both. You know, maybe I just got a bad one. Yeah, Probably. I think they, no. Go to Luminati's. Luminati's. Maybe one. it was Luminati's. I, I don't remember. They, it, it was good. I just, I mean, like, I probably just got a bad one. Honestly, it was kind of dry. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that's not supposed. That's not how it's uh, supposed to be. Uh, thoughts on Persona? Oh, I can do this one. Thoughts on Persona and which is the best one? Well, Persona Five is one of my favorite games of all time, and I heard that there's a chance that Persona Three and Four might be getting a remake. Like they, they're implying. They said. We've heard the, the demands, we know, so I'm eagerly waiting for uh, Persona 5 Royal. That That's a fun time. Put another 100, 200 it, hours into that. Uh, it must wait. be so nice to... <laughs> it must be so nice to be a fan of a franchise that actually is popular and has the chance of getting an HD remake. That's nice. Yeah, Wish I'd know great. that feel. Which game are you talking about, Pen? What, which... I don't know. What, where's Twisted Metal HD, huh? Or Sly like Cooper. Getting... Well, Twisted Metal's getting a TV show. What about it... Banjo Kazooie? You what? guys not know that? <laughs> no. What? Really? Yeah, Twisted no. Metal's getting a getting a TV show. They uh, PlayStation oh. has this new um, entertainment division, and their first show is going to be Twisted Metal. Oh yeah. I'm still oh. waiting for the Sly Cooper show. It's coming out in a couple days, you guys. <laughs> is it really oh. coming out in a couple of days? It's, it, it's it said it was supposed to. It was I supposed to come like out how... in October. I remember. No I, I remember. I was at Rain five years ago or or um mainframe entertainment you know uh, uh they, they said that at the time this was right before the ratchet and clank movie came out and they said they were they told me they were working on it so i mean since then it's changed from a movie to a tv show so and now it's at technicolor and not rainmaker yeah and technicolor is in la and paris i think so what i'm thinking is I'm assuming this release date is going to come and go, and they're just going to wait to air it on PlayStation's service. PlayStation's um, entertainment division service. I don't yeah. know when this is coming. It's Great, just a thing another that streaming now. service for us all to worry about. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know where it's going to air. Like, I, like, I, I have no idea, honestly. Um, <laughs> tell me about Bane. Why does he wear the mask? Oh, we got Bane posting in this thread. All right. Oh, Honestly, no. okay, so the Sly Cooper show is supposed to be coming out in October, but like the fact that it hasn't even announced what channel it's going to be on. Mm, no, it, it's not, not that's the joke, it's not coming out. It's mm. probably, I, think it, it's probably been... I really think it is, and they're just not going to release it on its release date because I feel like if they did, it would, you know, they'd talk about it at least, let people know slightly. But I think it's still being made. I, I really do think it's being made, and they're just not releasing it until a certain point. I feel like they're kind of gonna do what uh they did with the rocco movie and the zin movie where they waited um and until they could like put it on a streaming service mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like now that playstation's doing this they're like well we might as well you know wait because oh someone asked about promare i was actually talking to pan about this the other day oh i thought it was called promare it, it is, is called well, promare it's pro it's promare but i think isn't the japanese pronunciation promare i i don't know it's probably promare um, when I saw that's a promare. Anyway, I know I know uh, Pan hasn't seen it, and have any have any of you other have you seen it? Anyone no. else? No one. No. I'm the only one who has. It's we, okay. So what did you think? It was really good. It's typical trigger stuff. I feel like it's a good like entry point for trigger uh, shows and movies. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it was feeling a bit uh, redundant. I guess with the tropes they have, because it was just like I've seen all this before, but it was nice like to see was, it on the big screen. I feel like that was more fan service than anything. I, I don't yeah. know. I feel like yeah. I feel like they put in all the the stuff that people really like. Like they had a Gynax pose in there, uh, and I kind of had a Gynax ending. No spoilers, but um, yeah. Like I love the colors. I love the animation. Uh, the music. Oh my god, the music, dude. Kiryuki Suwano is a genius. I've been listening to Leo's theme on loop for like ever. I've been listening to Nexus. Yeah, Nexus that is, too. 
Yeah, Nexus is great. Uh oh, and yeah, it, I want to know more about these characters. I want it. I I hope they turn it into like a TV show or something because I really want more of the side characters to get some attention. You know what's funny? Um, what? the voice of Lucia. You know the uh the tech girl. Yeah. She, so there's like this running joke, I guess, in Trigger Productions. Maybe it's not even a joke. Maybe they just, they just keep casting her. But so the voice of uh, Haruko from FLCL. Uh, mm -hmm. is, uh, she's in the movie, she plays Lucia, but she's also in Space Patrol Luluko. Um, she plays Luluko's best friend. She's in, uh, she's in Kill a Kill. She plays No No. She's in almost all of Trigger stuff. And what's funny is they cast her in this and they cast Kari Walgren as her English counterpart, who's also the voice of Haruko. And she uses the same voice she uses for Haruko. So, I mean, I don't think that's a coincidence, but that that was really cool to see. It's a cute um in gag, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was really nice. I I I wouldn't be surprised if they asked her specifically like, "Hey, can you use your Haruko voice or can you uh, you know, come to the studio?" And uh, cuz yeah. I don't know. It it's cool. Anyway, watch Promar Promar Promare. It's it's really good. Mhm. Mm I think we got time for like one more question maybe, Pan. Is that good? Yeah. All right. You can pick the last one, uh, Nick. Go for it. Do you watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Yes, I do. Uh, I just finished part five. I'm halfway through reading seven. I'm waiting for... I know people don't say skip parts, but I I skip part six because I know that, you know, I, I want to wait until part six comes out, and part seven is kind of a reboot, so... Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I really, really enjoy it. It's a lot like Castlevania, where... You know, it's kind of like the same villain. Even if it's not the same villain, they're like kind of attached to the same villain, but it's like a different protagonist and the same bloodline every time. And uh, yeah, it's got really just cool animation. I love the, the character designs are one of my favorite parts. I just love how I do, like Araki, the uh, the mangaka, the author changes art styles like he changes socks, dude. Like, <laughs> he does. Every, he does. Yeah, yeah, dude. Every single part has a different art style. It's it, it like even slight variations like. The characters in Part 6, have you seen what the characters in Part 6 look like? They look really weird, man. They look like clown, they have like clown lips and these like huge, gigantic, long noses with like the, mm -hmm. um, the Part 4 scratches on it. And then in Part 7, it's like, oh, this looks like something I could see in a museum. So it's, it's, it's really, it's really cool. Yeah, I agree. I just I mean, have heard so much. Oh, go ahead, Pam. I don't know. I just love the overly detailed faces. Like, what you said, how it looks like a museum. Like, I don't know. Somehow, if you were to, like, make an animated version of a, I guess, a Renaissance painting or whatever, it's like, yeah, I can see how this would work. I don't know why. Just the yeah. sculpted faces. I mean, JoJo had an exhibition at the, the Louvre in Paris. Like, it's What the, the fuck? Yeah, it's they did. true. Yeah, and they he even made a thing called Rohan at the Louvre for it. And um, I think Araki's also drawing the official Paris poster. Yeah, mm. it's crazy. Yeah, on he's him. Um, he's he's very. And then I think the official Olympics poster is being by uh, uh, 20th Century Boys, Monster, and Pluto. You know those series, Monster, uh, 20th Century mm -hmm. Boys, and Pluto. Yeah, uh, Naoki Urasawa, I think his name is. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of watching things, hey Jim, when are you going to finish it? Evangelion? <laughs> I, I, no, I have been working on it. I, 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 I actually really love the show. I just thought I'm very precious about it, so I actually have to like not be doing, like, put my phone down. There can be like no distractions because I get really into it. So I think the bigger problem is is that I have too much other things going on. But I am like very slowly, and I've had like really big emotional reactions to it. So I'm actually excited to talk to you about it, but it's taking me forever. What are your thoughts on the uh, the the rebuilds? I haven't seen I any of the rebuilds. See, this is my first time watching it, so you, but Nolan would know. No, um, yeah, Nolan. Jim is, Jim, yeah, Jim hasn't watched the rebuilds yet. Um, I think I they're, I think they're, just like if you want more Ava content, uh, it's fine. But uh, otherwise, it's kind of a mess. Isn't I, it? I, if, oh, sorry. I, I, if you want to, we can discuss it more later, but um, I should probably get some dinner soon, so we should probably... Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I should, I should, uh, yeah, if you, you guys want to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, but if you want to talk Ava anytime, I'm always open. I love oh. Ava. 
Oh, oh. yeah, hell yeah, I'd always be down. It's dude. true. Um, he loves it as much as he loves Symbiotic Titan. Ah, got him. All right. Hey. But yeah, let's hey. wrap. Um, don't, don't, don't forget to watch the thing. Watch your thing. Oh, uh, oh yeah. So you guys can see Last Kids on Earth currently. It is on Netflix. If you just search it up on Netflix, it'll be there. We have a new season come out in 2020. Uh, we have an interactive special also coming. And you can find me on twitch.tv slash thewolfhard. Uh, on Instagram, you can find me as thewolfhard as well. And then on Twitter, I am just Nick double underscore wolfhard. Or if you just search up Nick Wolfhard, I'm sure you'll find me. Yeah. All right, links below. Thank you for coming Goodbye. on, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Good no problem. This was actually a lot of fun. I'm Goodbye, glad you're... every pony. Ew. Don't do what? that. Huh? <laughs> Goodbye, every pony. Bye, gamers. Bye. I'm ready to get gamered on. Uh-oh. So...